Hey, welcome back to our solar electric trailer journey. We're so glad you've joined us today. This week we went and weighed our rig. We drove about 30 minutes to the nearest scale and we squeezed our little rig in between a whole bunch of big semis and that was quite interesting and quite fun. Yeah, I, it's been a long time since I felt like such a noob. <laughs> <laughs> so why did we go do that? Why weigh it? Well, for safety, for efficiency, and just honestly, plain curiosity also. Yeah, you know, we've decided that for ourselves, and we, we, we certainly don't want to be a guide for uh, uh, others who may have uh, similar uh, vehicles like our Chevy Bolt EV, but uh, we think we can tow 1,600 pounds safely. And uh, we've gotten lots of different opinions. Uh, Maybe the most authoritative is U-Haul, which I think U-Haul mm, says yeah. that we can tow 1,500 pounds. So, you know, yeah. we're, we're right in the ball game there. Um, but uh, we needed to figure out uh, how much this, this trailer really weighs. We, mm -hmm. we uh, bought it knowing that it had a, an official dry weight listing of 1,174 pounds. So we're curious to see what it weighs when we put it on a scale. And it turns out uh, that it weighed uh, about 1,420 pounds, yeah. so about 250 pounds more than we were expecting. We're not sure what that difference was. Man, if you know where that extra weight comes from, let us know. Leave a comment and help us out with that one to figure <laughs> yeah. that one out. Yeah, that's kind of a curiosity. The only thing we think is in the trailer that might not have been counted in the in the uh, dry weight calculation is uh, a little refrigerator, but that it, it's. You know, the little refrigerator yeah. probably doesn't weigh 50 pounds. Yeah. Uh, so we're not quite sure where the other 200 came from. Uh, but, you know, we've driven this car or the, with the trailer now uh, over 200 miles. So that's not a huge sample, but uh, the car has never signaled any stress uh, in, in any way, shape, or form. Uh, you know, our mileage does go down, but the, the car is not ever complaining about uh, in any way that we've discerned about the weight and stress yeah. of towing the trailer. And in some ways, you can almost forget that you're towing the trailer because the car has no problem with towing at all. Yeah, yeah. But given the weight is closer to 1,420 pounds rather than 1,175, <laughs> uh, it does mean that we have to be a little more careful about our packing and planning yeah, yeah, for sure. uh, than we thought. We, 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 to stand our 1,600 pound threshold, we've got to be pretty, pretty yeah. frugal on what we pack. So We'll be very um, efficient, for sure. Yeah. We also learned how much of the weight of the trailer actually rests on the car. That was interesting. Yeah, one of the key things that uh, people who tow think about is how much uh, the, the tongue weight, how much is resting on typically the back bumper of the truck, in our case, a little Chevy yeah. Bold EV, right? But um, the, we, we weighed with and without the trailer, and, uh, and the way the rigs are set up to, you know, to, to weigh, uh, we put the car on one scale and the trailer on a separate scale, and the car, the car weighed 140 mm. pounds more with uh, the trailer than without the trailer. In other words, 140 pounds of the trailer was resting on the car. And uh, so that's good to know. So weighing your rig is very simple, it's easy, and it's not expensive whatsoever. <laughs> we paid $12.50 for the first way, and for the second way, it was just $3. And the folks working there at the, the way station were very kind and helpful, didn't make us feel like we didn't know what the heck we were doing because we really didn't but they were generous and very helpful to us. Yeah, they reminded us that uh, we're paying customers like everyone else, yeah. so we shouldn't yeah. be ashamed. Yeah, didn't have to worry about the big rig guys coming in. Because weight is such a key factor in the efficiency of towing, it's very important to know what your rig weighs, no matter what kind of fuel you are using. So knowing the weight of your rig is a very good idea. We're putting together a safety checklist for our use and for a future episode. So if you have any ideas of what we should put on that safety checklist, please comment and let us know. Next week we'll be on vacation in the Florida Everglades with yep. our son Dayton and his wife Kelsey. We're excited. so excited to spend time with them, but uh, that means we won't be posting an episode next week, but 
the following week we'll have uh, some uh, yeah. great stuff to share. Yep. We are so looking forward to that. So thanks for joining us today for this episode. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you.